Privacy is a right. Today we are taking a look at how to mine Monero on older Android phones with Termux. For Android 10 or above, there is a plug and play app called XMRIC for Android that's easier to set up than what we will be doing today. I'll link a video about it for you in the top right corner. For Android 9 or below, this video is for you. I'm using my old OnePlus 3 as example today. To use XMRIC, the mining software we want, we basically have to emulate Linux on those older devices. Thankfully, there is an app for that called Termux. Quick props, it's an open source project and amazing. From my research, I gathered that the Google Play Store versions are not kept up to date. So we will be getting it with F-Droid, linked below. Please do all of this at your own risk. F-Droid is an alternative app store. Easiest way I found was to grab the F-Droid APK from their homepage. You might need to allow installing from APK on your phone. Then again, allow the app itself to install things. Next, we want to get Termux from within F-Droid. I got the other apps from the Android Note video as well. I'd love to figure some more things out with them in the future. Once we got it, we basically have a small Linux distribution on our smartphone. As with any distro, we need to update some things. There will be some Linux commands going forward. And for simplicity, I have put everything in the description for you as well to copy and paste. Apt update and apt upgrade are the commands for getting up to date. Also on this phone, like in the last tutorial, I encountered some problems first. I had to change repositories. If it doesn't work for you from the beginning either, try the command termux minus change minus repo. And I just went one down to the same repositories over Cloudflare. Now we get some essentials for XMRIC to work. Package install git build essentials cmake y. Again, everything will be in the description. And now we have to get the files for the miner itself for XMRIC. That's git clone and the GitHub URL and we let it do its thing. Next, we build a directory with mkdir xamric slash build, or here you can put whatever you want, but you have to remember it. And we enter it with cd xamric slash build, or whatever you put there. Once we are in the right directory, we have to build xamric itself with cmake we installed before. The command is cmake dot dot, and I won't spell the whole thing. Again, you can copy and paste. This took a bit on my phone, maybe five to 10 minutes, and now the miner is functional. XMRIC either needs a config file or a starting command to work though. So let's go over that first. We'll be using the configuration wizard today. A, a pretty nice tool. It gives you both config file you could throw into the XMRIC directory we created before or you just start through command line. With the command pwd you can check where Thermux created your folder structure and you may have to show hidden folders in your phone's file manager to find it. If you copy the config.gs into the xamric folder we built before, you can just start with the dot slash xamric command if you are in the right directory. I stayed with the command line first, so I started through that. I can also give you a copy in the description and you can see it mining now. Quite low because of the screen recording of course. I also chose Monero Ocean as I have the other phones there as well. and. Today's tutorial excludes the algo switching options. I have to make a separate video on that. So we are purely mining XMR with the oldies. Congratulations, <laughs> you're now mining on your old Android device through a mobile Linux distribution and XAMRIC. Before I let you go, let's talk about some settings and commands we can do to improve the experience. I guess most importantly, before any setting, to stop the miner without having to close Termux, you press Ctrl and C. You can also do this on the phone. It was easier to me to do the settings when it's not mining. To start mining again, we run the command line as before. If your Termux crash completely, you first have to make sure you are in the correct directory. So cd xamric slash build to enter again and then the command. It kept crashing a lot for me, despite the setting we are going to do next. So on this phone, I let it mine with three instead of four threads. You can achieve that by adding the minus T and the number of threads you want to have mining to your command line. Less hash rate depending on your RAM of course, but more stability. You will have to find the sweet spot of your phone. Generally here, since we are on a Linux distribution, all the XMRI commands that are valid in Linux will be valid for our phone, so you can check them on GitHub. Next, some settings. First thing I would do is to exclude Thermux from any battery optimization settings your phone might have. 
that differs from Android Distro to DistroAbit. Hand in hand with that, we want to acquire Termux Wake Lock by pulling down notification and hitting Termux. This will also try to keep the app alive, even if you turn the screen off, which should give you a few more hashes. I'm not sure yet how to enable huge pages in Android. Unfortunately, it should be possible if Termux gets root access, maybe somehow through Termux boot we used in the Node video, but I have to admit it goes beyond my Linux knowledge for now. Maybe someone out there can help and we can make a follow up. For the basic, that's it. Monero mining on older Android devices through Termux and Xamarin. There was a lot of focus on things to do with phones lately. Something different will be coming next video. Thanks to everyone for tuning in and for the kind reactions to the recent videos. I was thinking of making a video about the whole Monero delisting topic, but at the same time, I'm not sure if it's worth it or if the people watching my videos were really affected by it besides the price rings. Let me know below if you would be interested or also if you have any questions regarding that topic. Either way, Privacy is a right and the Monero videos will not stop on this channel, no matter what. In the meantime, I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye.